Okay, so we've got this basic feature tracker going on. We've uh, loaded the webcam in, we've got it seeing my eyes. For the most part, uh, it's able to find me. Um, but there's gonna a couple of things that maybe we wanna change first to make it work a little better. Um, and the first thing I'm noticing, it's not quite right, um, is that maybe you can't tell, but if I hold up my right hand, it's appearing on the left side of the screen. <laughs> I'm getting all confused already. Um, and if I hold up my left hand, it's on the right hand side of the screen. And that's because the camera is looking at me, but it's not, uh, it's kind of like a mirror. It's flipping it, right? Because it's looking this way, whereas I'm looking this way. And um, there's a really easy way to fix this. And that is in our draw. Before we draw the webcam image, we can say translate. Uh, basically, we want to mirror it, and we can use the um, matrix transformations to do that. So we can say translate, uh, and because we're going to be flipping it, uh, what we need to do, I'm trying to do this on the screen here, uh, is we need to move all the way over to the side, um, our origin, and then we're going to reverse everything like this and then draw the image. So I'm going to say translate width uh, zero, because I don't want to go up or down. And then we can use scale, and scale is not super helpful I find in terms of like making things bigger or smaller, but if we do a scale of negative one, it's gonna invert uh, or mirror in the horizontal direction. And then we wanna do one for the vertical because we don't want it to change. And basically, um, this is a really great way of doing this um, where it's um, very, very um, like fast. It's gonna work really well. It's optimized to do this stuff. Um, if we were to do it by the pixel level or something, I'm just realizing I have these crazy looking eyeball <laughs> things going on here. Um, but this is gonna be really, really simple. So now if I save this and run it, um, we should see the same thing happen, but we get a much more, there we go. Um, now this is my right hand and this is my left hand and it feels a lot more natural for me looking at it. And if you're making an interactive project, this is a really good kind of piece to add here. Um, and one of the nice things is, is that the Calm Tracker is, um, because it's tied to the webcam, um, it's gonna be able to do this for us, which is really awesome. Okay, so um, we looked before at getting the eyes, um, the features here, but let's say we wanna do something um, maybe a little more complicated. Let's say we wanna draw, for example, the mouth. So if I go over here to my, um, to my diagram, we can see the points here. And there's a few ways that we could think about drawing this mouth. One would be around the inside. So this is the inside of my lips. Um, or we could draw on the outside. We could draw the lips separately. But what you'll notice here is that if I wanna draw the inside of the mouth like a puppet, um, the points go 44, 61, 60, 59, 50, 58, 57, 56. So they're not in this natural kind of order where we can just use a for loop. And so what I'm gonna do up here is I'm actually gonna make an array that contains the points, um, the indices of those points that I wanna use. So I'm gonna call this mouth. Um, and so I'm gonna say 44, 61, 60, 59, 50, 58, hopefully I don't forget any, 57, 56, and then we've already had 44. So these are the points. Um, and it doesn't matter which direction we draw the shape, but we do need to go around kind of in a circle because um, we're gonna use begin shape and end shape. Otherwise it would create this kind of jagged craziness. So I've created this array here. And then down here, after we've made sure that there are features to work with, um, I can say begin shape. And I'm gonna do end shape so I don't forget. And I'm also gonna do close because point 44 um, is where it ends. I want it to complete that shape. And now we can say for var i equals zero, i is less than mouth.length. So we're gonna go through that array, i plus plus. And um, then we need to be able to get our, um, so this is where it gets a little confusing. So we have an array of points and we wanna get, for the first one, we wanna get point 0.44 in the features array, which then contains the X and the Y. So I'm gonna say uh, var index equals mouth I. So that's gonna give us the index in the features array. Maybe we can call this uh, actually features index is gonna be that point in the mouth array. 
and then var x equals features, features index uh, zero. It's gonna be our first point. Var y equals features, features index oops, of one. So we've gone through that array, we've gotten those the indices that we wanna work with, and then we've extracted the x and the y, and then we can say vertex x and y. So now if I save this, I'm just gonna go to my sketch here. And there we go. Now, um, one caveat for sure is that um, the mouth tracking I found doesn't work super well when you have facial hair. So um, right now it's kind of tracking my mouth. Uh, not super well. Um, your mileage on that might vary. So you can see, yeah, now it's kind of cottony. It seems to be working pretty well. Um, but you know, the, the eye tracking works really well. So um, depending on what you're working on, you might want to think about that. Um, things like that, like the mouth tracking with facial hair don't work super great, but it seems to work pretty well. Um, we could do the same thing for each eye. We could do all kinds of cool stuff here. Um, let's do one more thing. Um, so we can see from this image that uh, Calm Tracker is looking for a face. It's not looking for a head. So um, it's giving me 0 0.0 on the left around to 0.14 on the right, which is the bottom of the face, but it's not giving me the top. So if I wanted to draw, for example, a mask covering my face, um, this isn't quite giving me enough info to work from. And so, um, but we can kind of, we can actually kind of guess from this stuff and from basic info we learned in figure drawing. So let's say the first thing we want to know is where the middle of the face is. Um, and 0.33 right here, it's actually a pretty good guess for that. Um, it's, uh, you know, everybody's face is different. All these are huge generalizations and um, we can certainly talk in, uh, more about some of the problems of facial recognition and machine learning. There's many, many of them. Um, but we can kind of make baseline that this point right here is gonna be the middle of our face. So I'm gonna say var face center x equals features 33 um, and it's going to be zero and one. So that's going to be the middle of the face. Um, and then we want to know, <coughs> excuse me, the width and the height of the face. So the width, face width, is going to be equal to um, the distance between 0 0.0 and 0 0.14. So I'm gonna, and you know, there's many ways that we could make this a little smarter, but I'm just gonna do something kind of simple here. And I'm gonna say, um, this is gonna be features 14, zero, minus features zero, zero. So this point's x position minus this point's x should be the width. And the height is a little trickier. So the height we're gonna measure from 13 to seven, um, but that's half the face. So we can also, it's kind of a generalization again, but we can say that um, the that this point here is, uh, you know, kind of the eyes are halfway across the face. So I'm gonna say face height equals features uh, seven in the Y position minus features um, 33. Actually, you know, so 33 is maybe a little too high. Let's do 0, 0.0. So we'll say 0 and 1. Now, that's half of the face. So then I'm going to put this in parentheses and multiply that by 2. So that's going to give us the full height. And again, this is an approximation. This is a beginning point. You might want to tune it depending on how you see it working. So now I can do, let's do a semi-transparent overlay. And I can say an ellipse at face center x, face center y, and then face width and face height. So I've used these points. You know, these points on their own don't do a lot. I mean, they identify features, um, but we can use them to kind of like um, find out new things or, or infer new things, which is pretty fun. So now. 
should. Uh oh, we're getting in there, I think. Let's see. Oh, I spelled features wrong on line 59. Yep. Features. There we go. Typing too fast. Let's try that again. There we go. Cool. So it's, um, there we go. It's getting a few erroneous points, but you can see that's pretty good. It's definitely a little high. Um, so we could kind of tune these values. Um, I look pretty funny over here. I love this. Um, but you know, we could tune those values to kind of get that, but it's sort of doing a good job of just overlaying onto my face. Um, depending on how you have the lighting set up, this might work better or worse, but um, you can see it's able to really stick to me. It's able to find me. Uh, it's going to occasionally lose me, but um, it's pretty cool.